to experiment here with Michael Harding's permanent green light. Now I have a confession, I'm quite scared of ready mix greens and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this colour. It's not something I've ever used before and I don't know quite how I would accommodate it. I paint mostly landscapes and I find this kind of green a little bit too loud. I guess I could see it on a local colour on a sunshade or something like that. So to begin with, let's just put some black and some white with the green itself to see what happens. With some white, it's going to quite a pale minty green. There's a lot of blue coming through there. It is quite a cold green, this. And with black, warmer, but still quite an artificial green, if you like. So I'm going to see how it behaves with yellow ochre, if I can actually calm it down to something more natural. It is going, isn't it, actually? In fact, that's quite lovely. Yeah, I could see me using that. There's an intensity to it still, but that could be quite helpful. Sunlit greens can be very vivid. Yeah, that could be quite handy green, and especially actually now if I put some black with that, I think we're going to get to something really very useful for landscape painters. But we're not all landscape painters, are we? So let's see what happens if we just put it with some brighter colours and have some fun with it. So what does it do with Aurelin? Nice bright yellow. Wow, that is zingy. I'm putting quite a lot of yellow in here. This is quite a powerful green, I think. Gosh, that's really lime green. <laughs> that's seriously bright. That's lovely though. How about with some brilliant pink? That's interesting. I thought it would go more brown, but it's not. It's going to actually quite a lovely grey there. That's really nice. A purpley grey. Well, quite neutral, I suppose. Hmm, quite like that one. What about with King's Blue Deep, a favourite of mine? Gosh, that's pretty, isn't it? I think I've just taken a bit of this other green in there, but that's a really pretty colour. Very fresh. That looks great, just with a spot of that pink with it. Hmm, great colour. With red, I wonder will it turn to a brown? So cadmium red light going in now. Yes, it is making us a brown of sorts. It's a mid value and it's very opaque, so it's, it's greying quite a lot when I desaturate it in quite a useful way. It's making quite a good range of mid value colours here. The more red I'm putting in, the more I'm getting a sort of rich pinky brown. And what about some purple amethyst? if I put amethyst into it. It's going quite blue-grey. Yeah, that's another really lovely colour. Kind of smoky, smoky indigo colour. So it's doing quite a lot other than being green. With a little bit of quinacridone rose, I wonder if we'll get something similar to this with the cadmium. No, we're getting a lot more of the purpley colour from the rose there. Another really useful grey. Hmm, so that's quite an interesting green. It seems it can go loud or soft. It maintains a middle value throughout most of the time but it seems it can do really saturated or it can do much more soft. Well, there you go.